Welcome back everybody to POV Pool. You're watching the West Coast Swing. We're at California Billiards here in Fremont, California. And this is the West Coast Challenge 9 ball. 10,000 added. You're watching a winner side match, Shane Van Boning versus Torsten Holman. They are racing to nine. Enjoy.
Hey guys. Okay. You're watching Torsten Homan versus Shane Van Boning. It's three to one. Van Boning sits in his chair. H Homan on the board with one game. Solid break, but uh, no balls down. And a shot on the one for Shane Van Boning. Also on the back table, there is a match going on between Ramon Mystica and uh, local player Michael Glass. The score is 1-1 over there in a race to eight, I believe, from the one loss side. Here we go, Shane now down on the shot. One ball, backing up for the two along the rail. It goes. Hey, how you doing? We're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Dave Cat. What's that? Dave Cat. Dave Cat, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. You want to commentate? Okay. <laughs> actually, actually, can you refill my coffee? Just tell them it's for the tell them it's for the bar. It's staff. You want just splat? Yeah. You want nothing in it? For Daniel. Yeah. No
No, no. Thanks. Dave Cat, get me a cup of coffee. Thanks, man. So it's like Shane's playing uh, two rails for the long side and uh, avoids playing the short side. Shane four one, and he is in top shape. Sit down, take a mic. This is Daniel, and I'm with the Grasshopper. How are you doing, Daniel? Dude, I am enjoying this right here. Two top players in the world today Pl going head to head right now. It's four to one, though. Shane is is clearly not trying to take, uh, you know, prisoners. Give any? Yeah, not trying to take <laughs> any prisoners here. <laughs> Yeah, he's been playing well all tournament. I don't think I've ever seen him play bad. <laughs> so uh, in the booth here, we got little Alexis, my daughter, sitting, standing behind me. Just in case I mess up, she'll grab my uh, headset and take over. <laughs> Hi, Alexis. How are you? Good. Good. Do you play pool? A little. A little? Good. Good. So when you watch these these guys play pool, what do you think? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of neat. It seems like it would take years to build up the skills. Yes, it would. It would. Well, you know, some some players like Shane. Some players like Shane. Shane here. He started at a young age. His granddad was a great player. He comes from a pool playing family, so. It's kind of in his blood, you know. He was born with that raw talent. But um, you're right. He did have to develop, too, you know. So if you start now and you're what? 11? You're 11? Oh, you better, you better get. There might be an open table there for you. <laughs> you can, in fact, you can go play on the, on the diamond table all day for free if you want. The, the, the diamond table from West State Billiards was brought in. You can go back there. You can play on the bar table. Perfect position every time. Yeah, he plays so good, you know. He's and, and you know it's kind of it's kind of a shame too because you know Torsten, also the champion, you know, and and uh, all he did wrong was break dry. <laughs> wow. You know, I, I got to give a shout out to uh, Freddie here, uh, Fast Freddie from uh, this pool hall in Fremont. 
my daughter was here one day and he pulled her aside and started teaching her how to make some balls and okay. bangs and uh, he said wow she's a natural nelson you know you should uh, let her play a little pool but she's so focused on school and uh soccer you yeah, yeah i heard you're a soccer player huh yeah yeah so you got any injuries i broke my toe you broke your toe oh no hopefully it wasn't on another player <laughs> you didn't break it you didn't kick someone and break your toe did it take long to heal um, like three weeks. oh that's not bad so you're playing soccer again, aren't you? Okay, good. Well, let's see how this break comes out here. <clears throat> wow. Well, two balls down, almost a third. The sixth ball was going, but... Well, I'm not sure. I think we're going to see Torsten come to the table kicking at something at this point because it doesn't seem to be a lot that Shane can do here except play safe. And he's got those those three balls. Uh, that's a nice little wall there, the four, eight, mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so he's looks like he's coming around the table, one rail. Yeah, he's just going to play a side to side. And look, his cue ball, he wanted to park it right on the rail, but Torsten's got an easy escape, one rail, but what does he escape to? <laughs> Is there anything to hide behind? It's hard to leave a tough shot after a kick. <laughs> he may have to kick this pretty hard. Make if that one ball come back to the pack somewhere? Something, or, you know, he might get lucky and make contact with the nine. Who knows? Maybe the nine will go in. Maybe it'll go in off of something maybe it'll go straight in the corner or it could bank he might try to play this soft and use the nine ball as cover no he looks like he's he looks like he's about ready to stroke into this pretty hard right oh he he basically just tried to kick this straight into the corner i, I think i like your idea oh I think kicking I like soft. You no, know, kicking hard to try to bring it back behind all those balls, and you know, because uh, try to get behind a ball or something. The soft, you're, you're kicking to open space. You got a lot of opportunity to get to leave a shot. Well, I like Torsten's shot too. I mean, look, look what he's done here. I mean, I think, yeah, Shane could probably back cut this one ball, but he may elect to play another safety back. You know, like stop the ball and even behind the nine he's got to be careful to try to, he has to hit a rail as well so at three balls in a really bad spot kind of yes tough. so making the making the one is just it's mm -hmm. like you know doesn't do much for him what's he gonna do here he's gonna play safety Ooh. It's a good shot. It's a great shot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no jump cues allowed in this tournament. So, once again, Thorsten Holman will be kicking. Ramon Mystica still playing Michael Glass. I think Ramon is up two to one in that race to eight. Michael Glass plays pretty good. He just ran through me. Oh, did you play him? Yeah. Yes. I felt like I was a statue. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> hmm. I told him to be careful. I said, you're a pretty good player. Oh, thanks. He told me he was playing you later. Appreciate that. I said, oh, yeah. I said, watch out. The grasshopper is a good player. Not today. <laughs> Look Whoa. at the six go in, and wow. you, you know what? That was, that was beautiful. That was, that was an intentional shot, by the way, guys. And the speed, really nice, close to the hole, you know, get it a little close to the hole. I like that shot a lot. Yeah, yeah. But now, what do you want to do here? Do you want to, you want to try to play, I think you want to try to play your cue ball up table there past the five and try to play the three ball to the corner. It looks like there's room to do that. 
Yeah. I would avoid trying to play the short side of the three ball, you know? For sure. Yeah, here you go. Swing out and three to the corner. Yeah. So this is good. Maybe we're going to see uh, Torsten Holman make some waves here. Oh, that was a great angle because he could slide back underneath that eight and get in the four in the corner, yeah. opposite corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You don't want to spin too much. Actually, I was mistaken. Michael Glass is now up three to one on Ramon Mystica. Wow. You know, both of these guys are teachers, too. Michael Glass is a oh, teacher. I didn't know that. Teaches pool, and so does Ramon Mystica. Well, you taught me a lesson on that yeah. pool table. We got a lot of teachers here. Actually, John Schmidt, he's been uh, giving lessons here. Come on down if you're looking for a pool lesson, you know. And they're uh, putting some tips on for your for anybody that needs a tip. They yeah, Johnny time. Donahoe's here. He's he's putting tips in cue repair. You know, I'm. Uh, uh oh. I'm actually getting two tips on my shafts. I'm I'm blaming it on my tips. That's why I played bad. Ah. Uh, I got an excuse. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, guys. So, Torsten. Torsten rolled the dice on that shot. He kind of forced forced uh, the eight ball up and down table a little and he got shape on the five but it's difficult shape he's got to cut the five to the side I don't think he's gonna play this five nine not when the five is is cuttable to the corner but it's a difficult cut to I mean it's cuttable to the side it's a difficult cut to the side uh, cue ball speed is gonna be flying well, I think he can play this pocket speed, and he'll maybe his his cue ball will come back up to the kitchen line. Looks like he's putting reverse spin on. He's going to go down. two rails up and down. That's probably best. He put reverse English on that to slow down the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What what country is this gentleman from? A hitman. Uh, the hitman is, I believe he is uh, German, and he's actually, uh, you know what? We have so many July babies in the house. I mean, Shane's birthday's coming up. Torsten Holman's birthday's July 14th. Uh -huh. He's born in Germany. He lives in the Philippines now. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they call him the hitman, and um, he... Uh, he plays most games. He plays uh, straight pool, nine ball, ten ball, um, and has even been known to play a little bit of one pocket. I don't think he's won any big one pocket events, but he plays very little one pocket. Uh, he, uh, he's been taking titles since 2003, you know, so he, he emerged in the early 2000s starting with the German nine ball championship. Uh, he's won several BCA titles. He won the BCA 10 ball title about two years ago. Well, I mean, living in the Philippines, what a training ground to get to improve your game. Yes, he, he but you know, he tells me he lives in Manila. Um, He lives in Manila, and uh, and he says that his he's got a table at home, and he barely goes out much to play at the pool halls. Uh, he doesn't like to gamble, so most of the pool happenings in Manila is a lot of gambling, you know. So he's not much of a gambler. He just focuses on his game at home, and he there, he said there is a small room that he goes to. I can't remember the name of the place. Wow. <laughs> That sounds a little awkward, living in the Philippines and being a champion pool player, not gambling in pool. A little, a little strange. Well, no, he's playing pool, but he's playing pool at home. Right. He's got a table at home. Anyway, we got a turnover to Shane now. I, I would be living in the pool halls if I lived in the Philippines. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's probably going to stop this and uh, shoot the four on the side. You think it goes to the side? I think it does. I think he might stun out for the other side pocket. Oh, no. He didn't do anything uh, we predicted. <laughs> yeah, far corner. <laughs> That's you. Wow. You know, there was a young gentleman that uh, got a lot of games on Shane this weekend. He, he got like five games. I, I don't know the young man's name, but he played really well. Well, we do have a couple of good young players here. I'd have to check the bracket. Sorry? Geraldine's asking oh, how young. I don't know. He's kind of a tall guy. He's got really tall hair. Um, tall hair? Black, black hair, I believe it is. Spencer Lanning, Maybe Spencer. Uh, I can check the bracket. He played really well. Nine ball, you're saying? You know what? He did play Shane Yeah, he played Shane, and, he, and you know what? He, I think he won like five games. Five, six games. He did really good. <clears throat> I like to see that. We've been... Uh, uh, exposed to Spencer Layden now for about two years and apparently in the last year or so he has improved greatly I have yet to see his game live and up close wow this uh it's just unbelievable watching somebody play this well. Kind of makes you feel like you could do it too, huh? But then you get to the table and you can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like, why can't I do this? But it is inspiring. Was, so the score is uh, six, six to one, six to two. It's just effortless for him. <clears throat> I'll give a quick hello to uh, Jose Reyes. I work with him. He told me you better say hi to me when you're online. So that that's your shout out, Jose. <laughs> Nice break. Oh my goodness, all that forward spin right into the drink. Splash. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, the tournament's been running really well. I mean, I, I had no complaints. Running smoothly. Uh, Ken is doing a great job. I, I don't know the lady's name that's helping him. She's doing a great job. Janet Okamoto. Um, the, the, the workers here have been on point, very friendly, smiles all the time. You got Allison, uh, Russ, Santiago, the cook, uh, Jay, and Darcy. And everybody's been, been really nice. I, I thank them for all their patience and all their help. Yeah, the hitman, uh, he can he can hit him also. He can hit yes, him well. yes. There's two hitmen in pool. Do you know who the other hitman is? Ooh, I'm trying to think who that might be. Uh, got me on the spot. Little, not... little 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 trivia question for you. Who is the other hitman? Oh gosh, got me on the spot. I'll give you a hint. Uh, this year, he represented India in the World Cup of Pool with Amar Kang. I was going to say Amar, but it's not, not Amar. Is it Raj? Yes, Raj Hundal. Uh, you know, I didn't know that was his nickname, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, what's your what's your nickname? <laughs> you got to have one. Anyway, let's look at the bracket. <laughs> so, uh, you know, let's take a look at Shane Van Boning's uh, uh, journey to this match. He actually um, had a buy in the first round. He beat Dwayne Golroy, 
you guys can see here. Huh? Guillory. Guillory, okay. And he actually beat uh, Spencer Layden, so that's that's probably the match that you're talking about. Oh. Spencer Layden actually went through Michael Glass, the guy that beat you. Oh. So Shane then went on to play Shane Van, uh, play Francisco Bustamante, where he is now on the winner's side playing this match against the hitman, Torsten Holman. So, Who else is still on the winner's side? Uh, who else? Uh, it's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked us that. We have uh, Shane, Torsten, Damian Alishan, who beat Len Lenny Robinson in his last round. We also have uh, Cena uh, Valizade, <clears throat> who has actually played and beat some pretty heavy hitters. So uh, I have a strange feeling. I suspect that Cena will end up on our live stream table sooner or later. More likely later. More likely later. I don't think we're going to give these national winners. We also have Warren Kiamko and Alex Pagulayan on the winner's side. Skylar Woodward and none other than Dennis Orcolio. Meanwhile, Torsten to break, and the score is 6 to 3. So I wouldn't count Torsten out of this, except he keeps breaking dry, doesn't he? Yeah. That's not helping his campaign. Right. That, Am I that, keeping you? Do you, are you? No, no, sir. Okay, I'm not. Am I keeping him? <laughs> okay. He's gonna roll out. That was a short rollout. <laughs> Who is this Damien guy <laughs> in the chat room? Damien Alishan is a very talented Southern California player. He's got a full-time job these days, uh, but uh, I digress. Very talented player, plays mostly one pocket, but he's still doing good in the nine ball. We may see Damien play in the Hard Times Nine Ball, which is coming up later this month, July 15th and 16th. I'm uh, looking over at uh, Ramon Mystica, stretched out his pocket, the eight ball, and got a nice, easy, straight in nine ball. And Michael Glass just said, that's good. You don't have to shoot it. I, uh... I like watching Ramon play. He's a good player. Ramon Mystica has been, you know, very helpful as a coach to many players over the years as well. I mean, he goes way back. He's coached guys like Jose Perica and um, uh, Ronnie Alcano, uh, Antonio Lining. He's, uh, he's been a good coach. But he's also, you know, also teaches and gives lessons. One of the things he told me about my game is that my stance, if I could improve my stance, uh, I, would, uh, I would improve my shot making. So I kind of like, uh, I focused on my stance for several months and, you know, came, came to the conclusion he was right. And then Bart Mahoney, Bart Mahoney saw my, my, uh, my shoulder drop on a lot of my shots. So I worked on that, and that helped. So, and I'm here to tell you that uh, your game can pr improve even when you're well into your 40s like myself. Wow, Shane playing a very nice shot. Uh, a very difficult two-rail kick to, uh, to hit the one ball. You think he'll draw back, get behind that 9-2? Uh, I think he just wanted to hit that one rail. Uh, do I think he'll draw back to what? I thought he was going to draw back behind the 9. Is he playing a billiard here? Yeah, he okay, is. Okay, but oh. where's does the 1 pass the 6? Is that is that his plan? Yeah. Now, tell me that's not a lot of control. <laughs> I mean, for him to move that 1... 
in a place that's barely going to pass the six to go to the corner. Now that is professional pool. No doubt. Really steady. Scheduled later uh, after this match on this table, we have uh, Skylar Woodward and Dennis Oculio, so make sure you guys buckle up and get that popcorn rolling. Skyler, is, he's another great shooter. Moscone Cup player. My goodness. I'm going to say hi to DJ. If that's the same DJ that uh, we saw ran into last night at Easy Street Billiards, or from Easy Street Billiards in Monterey, I want to say hi to you and everybody out there in Monterey at Easy Street Billiards. Man, it's just like, I'm in shock, like how good people can play this game. He's got beautiful technique, form. That body, you know, nothing moves except the pool cue. Robert Hunter asking if the, there are Moscone points in this event. No, no technical Moscone points are awarded in this event. Uh oh, slow down. But I can guarantee you, the folks at Matram Sports are keeping an eye on these events. So this could be a tiebreaker, <laughs> one of these events. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. Johnny Donahoe back again to say hello to us. Yes. Guess I guess he's found a, I guess there's been a break between Q repairs. Johnny was going stir crazy this morning with all the work he had to do. He's been fixing cues, man, solid for like five days here. He's doing about 20 cues a day. Man. He put a, a Zan tip on one of mine and also a Kamui. Thank you very much, Johnny. I, I look forward to, uh, to hitting some balls with it and see how well it plays. Mystica, he won again. He's got uh, three to four. He's behind Michael Glass. So the score is 6 4. And we have uh, finally an open table for uh, Toasty, huh? Yeah, he, he does uh, treat people like toast and burns them, <laughs> burns them on the table alive. No mercy. Ramon Mystica trailing now, trailing Michael Glass four games to three. In the race to eight. <clears throat> That's a loser side match. You know, I saw a lot of matches where a lot of top-notch pros had to play each other in the first and second round. It was like, wow, they're just knocking each other out, putting each other on the loser side. Sure. I mean, that's how it is when you have, like, a field full of world champions and, you know, world-class players. We, we all know that only there's only one winner in these events. Only one champion. I'm sorry. There are a lot of winners, but only one champion, right? That's right. You know, I, I like Jason Shaw, the way he's been playing. I mean, a lot of these guys play great, but uh, something about Jason, he's just, I think, a tad bit more consistent. Dennis, Dennis played 
some great one pocket last night in that finals. That that last game was wonderful. Oh yeah. You guys get a chance to see that. You guys got to watch that match. That was a fantastic match. Alex played great. Dennis played great. But that last game was something that, that was a legendary game. Oh my goodness, I think that was a little skid. <clears throat> as soon as he hit it, it looked like the eight ball slid a little bit, it didn't roll. Threw it off course. Shane will just cut this right in. And this is a tough shot. Looks like Shane is taking this to set to uh, eight, eight to four if he makes this. His chances are good, knowing his percentage. Beautiful. And just in case he misses, look where the cue ball lands, way back there. 7-4. Two more games. Be sure to subscribe to POV Pool on YouTube so that whenever we upload something that you're dying to watch or whenever we go live, you'll receive a notification. And uh, you can also filter those notifications if they uh, come too frequently to you. Shane is pumping that stroke, ready to fire it. Wow, smashes it every time. Uh, another route to POV Pool in our matches and events. You can check out POV Pool on Facebook. You know, a lot of these pros, they'll, they'll play a match and then they'll go relax or whatever Shane right after his match he's practicing practices practicing. a shot or something like, yeah this this man works really hard in his, on his game yeah you know another player that I've noticed do that quite a lot is uh, uh, our Southern California player Oscar Dominguez who is uh, pretty well known for doing that whether he wins or loses a match it's usually a, a key shot that he realizes he misses during a set he'll go back and practice that shot right away and he'll go back and you know try to recover from his mistakes and correct whatever it is that he's he's done wrong with his execution I think it's very important to do that especially if you are gonna make it a regular thing to play competition pool Alex Bagalion does that also. Same thing. You know, I saw uh, Foch Garcia up here yesterday. It was, was kind of nice. I walk, walked right up to him, said, hi, how you doing? Shook his hand. Uh, said, I, you know, I got to get down there to uh, hard times and, and play you some one pocket, you know, and have, have a, a nice match with you. I like Foch. He's a nice guy. Yes, and it's great to see him up here. You know, he played in the uh, in the nine ball. He said he didn't do too well uh, this year. But uh, he said also that he kind of wasn't coming up to do that. You know, he was kind of coming up to hang out with Ariel and and just uh, see some of the some of the action up close. You know, well, he missed that two ball going in he and sure out. He sure did. He sure did. You called it the scissor kick last night when we were playing hopscotch doubles. Oh, you yeah. hopscotch doubles. <laughs> Did, is that what I called it? Scissor kick. 
I know this is going to lead to that uh, six ball that I scratched in the side sooner or later. At <laughs> the last game. <laughs> yeah. Well, you folks out there, me and Daniel were playing doubles and on the same team, and I had a what he said a surefire scratch in the side, and he didn't tell me. It was dead I, in the side. He waited. And I, he waited I just, until I missed. I just looked at it and walked away to my chair, <laughs> and he shot it, scratched, and we lost the game. But you know, but we broke even, so <laughs> that's right. We could have been up like you know, a couple, couple bucks. But. Yeah, exactly. It's but all. all part I, of the game. I kept. I I forgot though. You know, I forgot that we could talk talk with our teammate. You know, <laughs> so that's kind of my fault too. I anyway, feel, I feel better. This is a nice nice back cut. Beautiful shot. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, um, you know, as long as uh, Torsten doesn't struggle with the break here, I think that uh, I think he's kind of got the table dialed in. It's just the break that he's got to get dialed in. Exactly. You know, I don't I don't see any any issue with his ex execution at this point. He plays well. He's confident. He's totally capable of coming back, no problem. Looks like he's getting the five right here. Yes, sir. Seven to five, Shane. Toasty's creeping up. This next game is so big. I mean, he could either get within one or get behind, you know, three yeah, games. Yeah, it's a, it's a swing game. It's a swing it's, game. It's a West Coast swing game. Hoya, the hitman. And uh, he's uh, representing, I believe he's representing Ultimate Team Gear. Listen, I want you guys to know uh, we have a lot of sponsors for these events, but I think it'd be it's important that we recognize um, – those sponsors who are backing these players to play these events. So, so bring on your pros and um, let us know who their sponsors are. Back your pros. Tell them to come and play the West Coast Swing. Next year is going to be bigger and better. Help us help you. Open and free to watch online. Free for spectators to come in and uh, and watch these matches. Full bar, full menu, and possibly a couple tables to rent. So you can play pool, watch pool, eat pool. You can even visit with some of our vendors here. Look at this. Hey! What do you think? Trick shot? He, Masse shot? He made a ball on the break. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna have to push out and play safe or play safe or, or push out. I'm thinking safety. He'll try to get I'm gonna guess he's gonna try to skim off this ball and get behind the five and push the one down by the three. Or he's standing. That, that would be my guess. If he misses on one he gets him on the other ball. Well, I think the safety's a, a a a good bet, you know. That's a good shot. Looks like he got. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, f oddly enough, uh, well, not not oddly enough, but he was really trying to get close to that six, that nine at the bottom rail, so that you know he could he could take away the kick shot from Shane. That's the kind of precision that Torsten's aiming for, you know. Oh, thank you, Johnny. All right. Johnny just brought my uh, Kamui tip. Uh, oh, man, that looks nice. I can't wait to hit some balls with it. Ah, okay. Well, this is where I kind of like a soft kick, where he bumps that ball and... 
I'm bumps the ball and just leaves it close leaves to his safe. work. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. My daughter was bumping me in the back. Yeah, just uh, a little soft tap. Try to get behind the eight. Well, he, di he didn't like your shot yeah, for some reason. I didn't like his outcome. <laughs> So here's a here's a kind of a typical scenario that comes up in pool quite often. Oh no, actually the the two balls down table, isn't it? Okay, I was gonna say, you know, I thought the three ball was the next ball. Mm, oh yeah. You know, when you're on the wrong side of the ball, those inside follow shots that can be very difficult from the rail. But uh, he's got the two ball next, so actually I like Toasty from here, except. The key shot is right now because he needs to get good shape on the two for a, for a positional shot on the three. That was a really good shot. I mean, I thought that the four eight could get, come into play, but not with a soft shot like that. So how do you play this? Do you come uh, up uh, behind the five? You got to spin around and come short miss, of the five. Miss the nine. Oh, you went. Oh, he's playing short side. Why well, he went in the. Back side of that Look five. That. I you thought know. he'd go in the front side. Well, professionals like him, he finds those those lanes, you know. Oh, that was it's really nice. definitely a lane I wouldn't have thought of. I th I would have been afraid of hitting the eight. But I guess even if you hit the eight a little, maybe it bumps the cue ball up table. I would have spun the cue ball more, and it probably would have got me to miss the ball. <laughs> yeah, right. His way was more a natural way. Yeah, Thorsten, Thorsten is uh, dialing in really well. He's playing great. You look at the score, you can't believe he's behind. You know, sometimes when I'm in a match and I'm behind, mm -hmm. I try to pretend like I'm the person that's ahead so I get a little less nervous. I can't say that it works every time, but sometimes it does relax me. Yeah, it's it, it's important to have a, a healthy, positive dialogue. Uh, if nothing else, if you're, you know, sometimes it's good to seek no, nothing, just nothing in your head, <laughs> you know. I heard a gentleman, he had a really tough nine ball. And he said to himself out loud, I've made this shot a hundred times. He got down and he nailed it. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, guess I know what I'm going to be saying when I'm shooting a tough nine. Is that the, uh, sounds like the uh, beginning of a chapter of your new book, The Secret <laughs> of Pool. I don't think so. I got a long ways to go. There is a, there is a book out called The Secret Art of Pool, and that's by Lee Brett. Pretty interesting book. Also wanted to say hi to Mark Cantrell, who is the author of Watching Tea Wheels and My Stories from the Road. Mark Cantrell is a pool promoter who has hung with the best of them. Earl Strickland, Johnny Archer, Darren Appleton, just to name a few. You can get uh, Mark Cantrell's book, watching T wheels you can get that on Amazon can you believe the Earl Strickland you know they lived in North Carolina and Johnny Archer in North Carolina <laughs> and those two were just battling it out and they had happened to live so close to each other that was crazy yeah I lived in North Carolina for a little while what a great pool state I'd say hi to everybody at the Brass Tap over there. I used to play over there. A lot of fun. That was my training ground for one pocket with the legend. All right, let's see if you can get a ball on the break. Possibly tie this up if you can run out. Ramon Mystica, he's racking up the ball, so he must have won that game. 
I'm not sure if he moved the beads over, but as it stands right now, it's five to four. I think he tied it up five five, but I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know in a second. So score is seven to six. And Shane has an opportunity to take regain control of this match. I think Ramon, Ramon is, uh, I think he's behind five to four with Michael Glass, table number two. All right, Shane's at the, at the table now. I like kicking here. He looks like he's lining up for a jump shot. I'm kind of surprised. It's going to land off the table here. Not careful. Oh, he hit the seven. That's going to be ball in hand. Well, looks like the uh, momentum is switching here on uh, this match with Shane and Thorsten. Shane is doing a lot of sitting right now. Four balls sitting close to the pocket. This looks like a pretty easy out. Not what Shane wants to see. No, definitely not. You know, this is now going to be a neck and neck match. If, uh, if Torsten can run these out. Torsten also a Kamui sponsored player with his Kamui glove on. He looks sharp, man. He does. You know, okay. He shows up for these pool events uh, looking uh, professional, well groomed, and uh, and ready ready for action. say to, to Robert LeBlanc to confessions of a pool hustler Robert LeBlanc I think you're a couple days late Robert because the one pocket's over <laughs> <laughs> actually though you're a big nine ball player too you've 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 taken down a few scores playing nine ball I know about that from reading your book you know, talking about uh, nicely dressed, I like your custom T-shirt, your uh, big time oh, the, threads. Yeah, the polo that I've got. Yeah, yeah maybe you... I'll I'll have to take a few pictures of that with, while I'm wearing it today. I uh, I talked to the gentleman that uh, does that, Andy. I said I I need to get one. I need. Mean, he told me seventy five bucks and send some pictures and he'll uh, design it up for me. Yo, just go to bigtimethreads.com. You know they have a special going on right now for team jerseys and team shirts tell them POV pool sent you and that you saw their link on the, the West Coast swing events and they'll hook you up bigtimethreads.com yeah you can get your you can get your you know your room to sponsor it and they get their room logo or you know you can go play the bca or any of the uh, apa events or whatever it is you know team jerseys we got a lot of these um moscone style events kind of cultivating now 
East Phoenix versus West Phoenix. Uh, there's talk about a North California versus South California. There's talk about a lot of little team events going on. So, you know. That would be fun. North California, Northern California against Southern California. Yeah, just like, uh, just like you know, Toasty showing up to his his uh, events and Shane showing up to his events in his in his uh, sharp attire. We're gonna need to represent our teams as well. So, well, Ramon Mystica just won another game. It's five to five over there. Oh wow, that game is that that was a long. Okay, five five now. I'm gonna toggle over that because that match is getting kind of close to the wire. That's a race to eight over there, I believe. Right, loser side. One loss side, yeah. One loss side. I never like better. to say losers. Yeah, you know, <laughs> right when I said it, I said one loss side sounds better. You know, I mean, if you played in this tournament, you're not a loser. You, you gain knowledge. Uh, you had a good time. You know, I enjoyed it so much. I really did. Well, we all have. We all have our experience, which helps us to build our games into something. Um, something for the future, you know. Yes, we are tied up at seven seven. And what do you what do you do here? Do you go for this three and uh, try to bump the four away? I mean, I would imagine he's trying to avoid. Wow, he played a safety. <sighs> Okay. Well, to me, that was a very interesting shot selection. Yeah. I think Thorson, uh, I mean, uh, Shane, will, he'll hit this shot and draw back, and he'll line up on the floor. I mean, he hits these shots. I've seen him shooting almost the same exact shot practicing. He was nailing it over and over and over. Look, I... I also can't count him out on the combo if he ends up with a difficult combo because I saw him play a 7-9 combo earlier today against uh, Francisco Bustamante, which was, you know, a very well-intentioned shot. Maybe this is what Boosty's uh, gambling on here. I mean, Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> there's Toasty, there's Boosty, there's... Ooh, we missed it. Well, okay. I guess Thorsten's investment paid off. Yeah, his uh, good play is making a little more pressure for Shane. That's a good shot right there. Yeah, yeah. Torsten Holman is poising to take the lead. Uh, six balls in a bad spot, but he'll he'll probably uh, get close to that rail when when he's there with the off the five. Ramon just sold out. Michael Glass will come to the table with an easy three ball. If Lenny Robinson is playing Jason Shaw, that means that Jason Shaw is still alive on the one loss side. Right. Lenny was telling me, he says, you know, Grasshopper, I'm the last one standing from the homeboys uh, here in uh, Fremont, California. I said, well, yeah, that's good. Keep going. Good for him.
You know, Lenny comes in and he practices for hours by himself. He doesn't really match up a lot. It's mostly by himself, and, and that that can get it done. I like to play against other players, but he, he likes to just play by himself mostly. And there's multiple ways to get better at this game. Yeah, there are. You don't have to gamble. Everybody says you have to, but I'm not sure you have to. Lenny's proving that you don't. This is a tough six ball. Oh, he nailed it. Good shot. Wow, he's he's gonna he's gonna take the lead here. You just don't see Shane give up leads that often. There it goes. Oh boy. Eight to eight to eight to seven. Thorsten. Nice comeback. Very nice comeback. I mean, what was it? 5 2 earlier today? Yeah. It's a huge deficit. It looked like Michael Glass didn't get out. Mystica shooting the eight ball. MT Prospector is speculating that Shane will lose this match because he shot three bad shots in a row. I don't know. I think it depends on uh, a ball on the break. If it, if a ball drops here, could be curtains. He's, he's Thorson is playing so well. He just needs an opportunity to make a ball on the break and get a good shot in the first ball. If he gets a nice open spread. I'm going to predict that he runs out. He's playing that well. Well, Michael Glass got a, a nice opportunity to make the nine ball. Every time I look up, he seems like he uh, comes to the table and the nine ball sitting pretty for him. <laughs> yeah, Michael Glass is... Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, no. Two nine combo maybe coming up. It's a tough route to the two ball. Sure is. And that nine ball looks like it's slightly difficult, you know. The, it may be frozen to the rail. Man, that seven ball just really makes it much tougher. Wow, what a shot. Oh, he hit it really good, Daniel. This could be it. Oh, this will be it. That was no easy shot. That one ball, he hit it so pretty. Game over. Nice comeback. Wow. Great comeback. And that will do it for Shane. He is on the one loss side now, so no fear. We might be seeing Shane again. Uh, but uh, a couple of guys gone to the one loss side. Alex Pagulian beat Jason Shaw and put him to the one loss. Torsten Homan beat Shane and put him to the one loss. Let's take another look at this bracket, folks, uh, because we do have it available online. And we still have Dennis Roculio poised to play on the live stream table. He will be playing Skylar Woodward next live on our stream. So don't go anywhere. We still have Skylar Woodward playing Dennis Orcolio on the live stream table. On that back table that you see there, Ramon Mystica is playing Michael Glass. Waiting to play the winner of that match is Ramon, is, is Brian Law. Also on the one loss side, Jason Shaw was just called to play Lenny Robinson, so I am assuming well, he just me and me out. that Je Jeff Purvis just came up and said, he just killed me and knocked me out. So Jeff Purvis is defeated by Jason Shaw. He broke four times, I had a chance to win three games. Oscar Dominguez and 
Rodney Morris are currently battling it out on the one loss side. Phil Prentice and Wei Ni nee are battling it out on the one loss side. And we have uh, Derek Camacho waiting for two matches before he gets to play again. Let's take a look upstairs. Vilmos Foldish and Chris Robinson on the one loss side. Dave Martineau and Trace Kane on the one loss side. Francisco Bustamante waiting patiently in the 17th through 24th spot to play his next match. So stick around. Don't go anywhere, guys. We've got Skyler Woodward versus Dennis Ricolio coming right up on the live stream table. Let's quickly now toggle back over because we still have that match in progress between Ramon Mystica and 